Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we're going to be looking at our new article and how we'll be using our active reading skills and strategies to help us dive deeper into this article entitled The Deadly Dare, Rough Skin Newt Defenses. So today we will be continuing to gather evidence to answer our big focus question about how do some traits become more common over many generations, while others become less common. To help us with this investigation, we're going to be reading this article that helps describe how poison helps rough skin newts survive and how it can become more common. Now, when we dive into our reading, you're going to need to use your active reading skills and annotations to help you better understand the text. And if you remember, those annotations include asking questions about what you're reading, so the who, what, where, when, why, and hows, making connections between things you've read and things you already know to help you make sense and connect all those big ideas, and then identifying difficult words or phrases they might need to understand more down the road. So we're going to be looking at how to do some annotations here in our article. Now, when you pull up the article, you're going to see that it is a Google Doc, and you're going to need to highlight different sections. You're going to be hitting this little add comment that pops up whenever you highlight. And this is where you're going to add your questions, add your connections, and add your, or identify, I should say, uh, difficult text or any sort of phrases that you come up with. Okay. So as you go through, you'll highlight, hit that text, and you'll have a bunch of different comments on the side. Now, when it comes to asking questions, we need to make sure that we ask good questions that are going to help us understand the article better. So, for example, the title of this article is The Deadly Dare, The Deadly Dare Rough Skin Newt's Defense. Okay. If we're looking to ask a question that's going to help us better understand the article, we can start off by adding a comment and highlighting the, the um, title and saying, Why was the dare deadly? Or a better question might be, what dare did our newts have? Looking to brainstorm and think about these ideas will help us not only make further connections, but help us to better understand what we're focusing on as we read. So I'd hit the little comment button that we see and add in that question as we go. So next we're going to look at how to make a connection using the first paragraph. So remember, when we make connections, we mean you will be connecting what's in this paragraph with what you've been learning, observing, or what you've done so far. So in 1979, a friend dared a 20-year-old man in Oregon to swallow a living rough skin newt. So there, right there, we've answered that question right off the bat. So hopefully we're starting to feel confident about what we're reading and looking at and what we've learned. The man didn't realize how poisonous rough skin newts are, the lethal, fast-acting poison and tetradoxin ooze from their skin. The man swallowed the new hole and started feeling weak. A minute later, he described a numb feeling all over his body. So if we're going to take this idea, the man swallowed the new hole and started feeling weak. Minutes later, we can make some connections here to what we know or what we've learned. So thinking about what happened when a human swallowed the new makes me wonder what happened when a newt's predator swallows it. So if the human's going to swallow it, what about the predator? I want to make these connections, but it's important to make deep connections, one that will help us think about what's going on with the newts and we can connect ideas down the road, okay? So I bet gardener snakes also die very quickly when they eat a newt. So that's a great connection between that predator that we learned about a while ago. A not-so-deep connection would be like, I ate a poisonous berry with the Boy Scouts one day and it made me feel sick. Though that's a great connection and a great personal connection you can add, but we want to look to go deeper with our connections, connecting what we've learned, what we've done, and what we've experienced with our unit. So another example would be uh, in our second paragraph, and I'm going to use this one out loud to think about our connections. So this one deals with adaptive traits for ostrilopes. So, of course, the newt the man swallowed died too. In a particular case, in that particular case, being poisonous didn't help that individual newt survive. So even though he ate the newt, the newt being poisonous didn't help them. If the newts had to be eaten in order to defend themselves, being poisonous doesn't sound like a very good defense. How is being poisonous having a high level of this TTX poison an adaptive trait for rough skin newts? So here I might look to make a connection as well between what we've learned with our ostrilopes and what we're seeing with our newts. So a connection might be, 
or something we've learned about adaptive traits with our obstacle but our sim might be. Fur and color can be adaptive for obstacle depending on the environment. Making this connection between the environment and this adaptive trait might help me make sense of what's to come in the article. So that's how we go about highlighting and making annotations along with looking at making those connections, asking those questions, and identifying those difficult texts. So final thought, you may make a lot of connections when you're reading one paragraph and not a lot when you're making another. That's okay. Whether you make connection depends on whether or not you're recognizing an idea that fits with something you've learned. So it's not just about reading, but think about what we know. And that's the key idea to active reading. So go ahead and ask yourself, do I understand how to highlight and annotate within the article and record notes about questions, connections, and light bulb moments when we read? If the answer is yes, put it in the green. If it's in yellow or red, make sure you reach out and 